Hey everyone, welcome to Next Commentary, playing Azir in the mid lane, um, doing a kind of special build path. A lot of players have been doing this build path inside Hilo, so I've been trying to copy it, which is you take TP and you go Doran's Ring and you try to recall and go second Doran's Ring and you also take Presence of Mind and you rush Nash's Tooth rather than going Luden's Echo because when you go Luden's Echo that solves your mana issues, Azir can have mana problems, but instead of going Nash's Tooth, I mean uh, Luden's Echo, you go Nash's Tooth. So you try to basically solve your mana problems with... Chill Flash away. With uh, just using the presence of mine, basically. Oh shit, she's got hella chunked. That's not good. <clears throat> I'm against Ari this game. Um, as is your, what you want to do, what I've noticed that works is you just hard shove like level one using all of your soldiers. Um, so I'll put it like in between. And the reason why you use all of your soldiers is because you get the attack speed buff. Uh, I didn't know if she would be back fast, but it looks like not. Oh, what? It actually expired. Try make sure that you use it before me. I would get all of the attack speed there, and I would have been completely fine. I just messed that up a little bit. Oh, shit. Level 1 fight in the bot lane. So, Aatrox started topside for sure. I could flash. I don't know. Maybe I should have flashed. I didn't want to burn my flash just to get a kill, but it would have saved Lucian's life. But he would be 1 HP. I don't know. Maybe it was worth to actually flash there. I can't believe I actually just ran down there and got a free kill. But <laughs> so I'm just going to try to shove her under tower here. Mainly, uh, try to not use your Q to poke as his ear. As I said, you have big mana problems if you actually look to trade with people often. Mostly just go for mana flow procs and stuff like that. And even with mana flow procs, you can normally get it by just using your W on top of them. Watch, like... I'm not gonna Q her, I'm just gonna W and then auto, like that. And that costs way less. That costs 40 mana versus 110 mana, because it would be 40 plus 70. So basically it costs almost one third less. Oh, that was a bad one. Oh, uh, he should be bot side here. But I'll just put a top side ward so I can like hard play top side just in case the off chance that he is somehow top. Oh, that was bad. Oh, never mind. I still got it. Now I'll get the attack speed. I can just auto these down real fast. I'm going to auto her here a little bit just because... Um, what, do you want me to slow him or something? I don't think there was anything that I could do to help him there. Kill her, she had no flash. I was wondering why she wasn't bringing flash there and then I just remembered that she doesn't have it. That's good. That was a really good luck spine. I think I messed up. I think I could have actually somehow played that better. I messed up my soldier somewhere, but we still successfully got it, so it's okay. You can't always play everything perfectly. I shouldn't get that. So it costs 100 mana to go over this wall because it's 40 plus 60, so I'm not even gonna. I can't even do that. I'll just recall here, I suppose. I'll go Nasher 2 plus. I'll go Double Door and fuck it. I mean, I, I talked about it, uh, having mana issues, so I'll go it. I'll TP back to make sure I get the wave too. I shouldn't miss any creeps here then. Oh. 
Man, bot lane is not having a good time at all. I wonder if I can somehow reach level 6 and kill mid. I wonder if that's even possible here. She still has double corrupting potion. And she's not really low. Uh. I'm gonna reach level 6 on the next creep. Okay, I got her flash at least. I figured she was gonna try to charm me, so I... Uh, juking people is kind of interesting. Like, if you go rewatch that, I knew that she was probably gonna throw her charm, and you could, that's why I didn't walk straight at her, because she probably thought I was gonna walk straight at her. In high elo, some people, like, know that though, and then she would throw a charm knowing that I'm trying to juke it. It's like a super big mind game inside high elo for dodging stuff, but... That was a pretty successful dodge, I would say. That guy's dead. Now this is kind of scary because she's 6 and she has Ignite. An ally and as you can see, I'm starting to run out of mana. So I'm just going to leave mid. Fuck it. I want to make sure that we don't die here, hopefully. Oh. Not only is he going to die, but... We won't be able to get anybody here. There's no way. And at least Lux didn't die, I guess. I really need to reset. I'll just shove in this wave and then reset. Just for mana. It's not really about the item. I can't pressure if I'm in the lane with no mana. Just like that. Oh, we're up a lot of CS. Holy shit, this guy's 5-1. And, and this guy's... <laughs> I, actually, their entire team's doing pretty good. Besides mid. Sit in base for most of my mana. It will still continue regening. So by the time I get back to lane, I'll, I'll have a pretty good amount. And then hopefully I can get hand off this blue unless Aatrox took it, because Aatrox was topside, so that actually might just be gone. I'm, I'm guessing that's why Karthus is bot side here at all. Hmm. RIP. Every lane is not doing too hot. I don't even have wall or anything to stop that guy, or like knock him into my team, so I'm just gonna focus on pushing. Level 7. Holy shit, that guy's strong. Hmm. I wonder if I even can fight him. Hmm, okay, he didn't take that. Wow, actually, he just left to go over there? Alright. Well, the Karthus probably thought that enti his entire topside was being taken, and because of that, he just fucking dies, dude. And now they're all gonna die, too, probably. Yeah, they're probably dead. When a game is this far behind, literally either it's just doomed because your team's losing so hard, or the only chance is somehow I get off of a disgusting fucking roam, and I'm able to like kill multiple people. Like that's the only way. Like the only people who can even help me right now are Karthus, and he's not the strongest either. So it's like kind of... And they see us coming, so like... She flashed for him. Wow. Okay. I don't know if it was worth the flash. Could we actually just get first tower here? Like, fuck mid lane, dude. Let's just push bot. 
I just try to take this right now. Let's get this first tower. It's gonna take forever and I'm gonna lose plates mid, but... I, I don't care. Let's just get it. The reason why I went for that guy right there so hard is... What? Oh my god, I got charmed. <sighs> oh, that's why I couldn't flash. I was just gonna flash the fucking thing, but I got charmed. Hmm. Wow, okay, well... Fuck. <laughs> that sucks. I'm so strong too. I mean, we got first tower. We have we have infernal dragon. I don't think that this game is like lost by any means. Kind of sucks that like literally everyone's like dying so many times though. Like just all over the map. We make a super good play bot. I start leaving. Boom! They kill themselves again. Like what? And then they lose up here. Ah, oh, so frustrating. Just stop dying. Was there a wave there? Like, how did how did he even get into a situation where he's like that deep? It's not like he died under tower there. He died like extremely outside of his lane. <clears throat> Your has been oh. oh, there's still a pink in here. That kind of sucks. I can't even like flank them. I was gonna look to see if they would uh, continue pushing. My 1v1 against Ari is not even good either. Like, she she's up a level on me. Playing against Ari is not easy as Azir. Like, all I have to do is play inside of my creeps. That's like the best chance I have. I'm gonna die, but I oh will I was able to kill Ari and get her flash. And she was worth 600 gold. So, like, once again, I got something out of it. So, in a 1v2 situation. If you win a 1v2 situation, that means that there must be numbers on the other side of the map somewhere. Okay, like, I don't care that my team messed that up. I, I honestly could not care. We... They got it. They got the kill, so <laughs> any any amount of kills right now will make it so our game is easier, literally. We still have Karthus ulti if a fight happens here. Okay, Lucian's dead. I could already tell because Lux used both of her seats. What? Really? He actually got away? Dang. I thought he was dead for sure there. Yeah, but against Ari, I have to play inside my wave. You guys can see that. I've, I played extremely hard inside my wave because if you don't play inside of your wave and she ultis and charms you, then you're you're pre pretty much boned. Like, you just lose. You can have it, bro. Let's, let's kill this guy. What do you say? Can we kill him? Let's see if he pushes up. Okay, should be able to kill this guy. Slow him. 
just in case. I did not want him to somehow port out there. That would have been pretty bad. So now I just recall and we can leave. And we're going to lose some stuff here. But as I said, just getting any amount of gold, in my opinion, inside Hilo is like the best way to come back inside the game. Like just make me stronger. Get some get some kills on my team. We're going to lose some objectives and it might actually be more gold favored towards them. But the biggest thing for me is making it so we can at least be on like somewhat big spikes for ourselves. Dude, don't get charmed. Dude, don't get charmed like that. Oh, I got him. Oh, I knew I shouldn't walk. Okay, never walk inside no vision like that. I'm like, my team's pinging, so I'm following it, but I really shouldn't be doing it. If you just blindlessly follow your, your teams, you're just gonna like lose like that. Like, there's no reason for me to trust my team. Just look at all their scores, and... I just hear ping, so I'm like, okay, we're, we're gonna keep going because I believe in them, but... I, I had a feeling that walking completely blind into no vision was gonna be a bad idea. Oh, nice. Okay, we so we don't lose inhib there, so that's good. I mean, this guy has no MR at all. I might be able to beat him, to be honest. And I have TP coming up in 40, so that means that, like, when Baron spawns... I mean, it's three minutes away, but when Baron does spawn, we might be set. Oh, nice. They should be able to catch this guy, too. Oh, you missed. Sucks, 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 sucks. Oh, really, dude? Fuck. That was actually really close to landing on him. I would have pulled him really far back too, I probably would be able to kill. Dang, I'm actually like already um. What the fuck? Hmm. Can I even go on this guy? Probably not. Uh, I'm running out of mana too quickly, so I can't really fight him. My best opportunity was to be able to fight when uh with my ulti, but that's down. Oh, dude, what is that? They all have stopwatch. Dude, they're all 1 HP. It was worth it. Dude, if they didn't have stopwatch there, we probably would have killed them all. <laughs> Lucian should be able to kill her, right? Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, he's dead. I'm about no. I got um Zanyas now for next fight. That's gonna really help out. Dude, what? Lux, stop. Team. Just stop. Stop dying. What is that? Oh, get this surrender vote out of my face. What the hell? It's like flashing and I can't even move it. You're supposed to be able to move surrender votes. Did they change it or something? I'm aboard this just because um, we saw Aatrox and Shenbot and I really didn't want them to be sitting inside this brush and I just die. Okay, because I didn't hit anyone there, I'm guessing they're not standing in it because most players would stand right on the edge. I'm pretty sure Dragon's just gone. No way to really defend that. Oh my gosh, this guy now has MR, that sucks. And this guy has MR, oh my god. <sighs> because they have MR now, it's gonna be so much harder to kill them. Oh shit, there's wards everywhere. I don't even know if we can, like, group and take stuff. Our team comp is so fucking bad when it gets far behind. Oh? Oh? Wow, that was a really good Ari charm. Oh, I should be able to kill her. No, please. 
the Shen flash to kill me. Uh. Oh wow, nice. Yo, nice. Cart that's ulti. And then I think Ari's dead. You might be saying, your team died. It doesn't matter. It was a 4 for 4. <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> I say every single even fight when we're this far behind is actually super good for us. Because it just gives us another chance. And it gives people items, and they had a lot of shutdowns. Unfortunately, like, Aatrox is basically unkillable, and he is worth 1,000 gold, and we're not gonna be able to kill him, but... Lucian's dead. Fuck, dude. No... Is that Baron? It might be. I, like, need to not die. Um, and I don't know if I can walk in. I'm versus a Morgana and a Ari, so... I really feel that they're just going there. I, I feel like it's gone, so I'm just not even gonna bother. There's just no way. Oh, nice try. Nice try. You're dead, but... I'll take it. Good attempt. Okay, let's go mid. The inhib's gone, so let's go top instead. Oh, Lucian, Fog, no, guard this. He's fine. Wait, what? Oh, okay. That guy's impossible to kill. I think we just lose, because Ari's just gonna be able to go back and... I mean, she doesn't have TP or anything. Maybe we don't lose yet, actually. Ah. Uh... Okay, never mind, it's lost. Actually... Actually, we might be able to get a big shutdown here. Please! Ah! The Morgana flash for me! Did it! We killed everyone. It only took the, our entire base. Yo, I have Void Staff now, so that's really gonna help out versus uh the um anybody who has MR. It's gonna help out. <laughs> it's mostly gonna help out versus the Aatrox. Holy shit! I couldn't say his name. I don't know why, but uh maybe I'll be able to kill him. <laughs> now he's fourteen and one. Oh my god. Fuck. Well, whatever. <laughs> Karthus, we need your level 16 and a Void Staff. And maybe more. We, we need a lot. I hope you're up for the task. I don't know how you're gonna get those items, but good luck. I'm gonna take your shit too, so... <laughs> There we go, dude. Now we just need to be ready for the fight. They might try to run down mid or they might try to play slow. We don't know yet. Because if they try to play fast and they try to just end the game, it might give us an opportunity where we can actually fight them. Yo, dude, they're going to see you there. So we should just give bot tower here. Whoa.
Let's go! I'm recalling. They overstepped. By the way, with his ear, if you dodge the CC, you can destroy people. I'm sure you just saw how much damage I just fucking did those guys. Like, I'm sure you saw. Unfortunately, man, dude, if Baron was up, we would just be able to take it. But they would have never won for bot lane if uh, Baron was up. No, I misclicked. I didn't mean to hit that. That sucks. I didn't want that. Also, I think I maybe should have won Banshees. I might already deal enough damage. It's just that Banshees would make it so... um. If, if they throw out, like, a Morgana Binding and it hits me, it's over. We just lose the game. I'm not kidding. Like, that's how much I need to make sure that I don't get hit by a Binding. Or Ari Charm. Or Shen Flash Taunt. Like, any crowd control at all. Except for Aatrox Knockup. Aatrox Knockup, not a big deal. He already hit me with it. Didn't do anything. Like, is, that's super short. Any long... Long thing is gonna really fuck me, dude. I don't like getting fucked by long things at all. What? No, I got charmed. No! <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Did I have Zhonya's there? I looked at my Zhonya's and it wasn't up, but I think it might have came up right at that moment, possibly. Nice, he got the Ari. Oh, he said it. That's really smart by uh, the Lucian to say that. Good job. Oh, Lux is getting really low here. Nah, there's no way that Shen can kill this guy. Come on. Oh, no. Okay. That's not good. Oh, no. We're gonna 50-50 it? Okay, we got it. Hey, let's go. I trusted my team the entire time. I was never nervous. No. Lucian. Oh. No. Oh. Okay, he's, he's, he's fucked. Oh, no way, huh? Fuck. Luxol, go, go, go. No, she doesn't have it. Or she does have it, but she's not going for it. Did I get Baron? No, I didn't get Baron. Ah, dude. Dude, what happened to Caitlyn there? Do you guys see that? Where'd she go? She's disappeared off my screen. I don't even know what damage that was. Dude, I'm so close to death cap. So close. And I'm full build. Are I gonna Lex Q him? What is he doing? That was really weird Aatrox ult, by the way. I did not expect, I thought it missed because he went this way, but it was actually throwing him all the way over there. That looked really weird. Alright, so we're late game Aatrox. I mean, we're late game Azir. We're set. We're set. Yo, let's kill this guy. He's gonna ult you away. Probably. Dun 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 dun. Listen to it. Oh wait, that's not... Okay, never mind. It's a different sound. I deal like 500 damage per auto on that guy, and he's a tank. We don't have Lucian with us, but it's okay, I think. I think it's gonna be fine, I hope. We just have to be wary of Ari Charm here. Mm 
We have Karthus late game too. It's not just me, by the way. It's not like I'm carrying at this point, but I at least was able to make it so we're like still in the game for long enough, enough period that uh. Oh my Q, dude. Caitlyn. No, no, no. Oh. Aw. Oh. I think Evolution played that a little bit better. Oh, please kill him, dude. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's so much crowd control, man. Like, if I get hit by anything, I'm just... And if I Zhonya's, I'm inside Caitlyn Trap. It's so annoying. Ah. Oh. It's okay, though, because we haven't lost yet. Oh, nice, nice. And Lux gets to survive. Oh, he's dead, huh? Oh, wait, he's not. Oh, well played, dude. You're actually alive. Dude, if I just flash on Caitlyn, maybe I can just kill her. And I just, like, suicide bomb. Like, with my flash and Zhonya's or something. I have no idea. Oh, nice. Wait. They're trolling. Oh. Man, I have TP up. Wait, how low were they? Oh. I want to go over the wall, but I'm fucking scared. I don't want to get hit by Shenton and the Kaelin. I think maybe going for Aatrox was not the best idea. I don't know. That guy's so fucking tanky. It took me forever to kill him. Man, this game is fucking insane. It's only 30, 32 minutes in, too. Wow, she's going Hex Drinker. Interesting. I don't know if that's going to really help her. If she's in my range, I'm just going to... I'm a pretty sure I'm just going to fuck her. Like, instantly. Uh, is she here? I'm pretty spooked. I'm out of here. That's that's actually pretty scary. We have no vision at all. I'm gonna just keep on buying pots every single time because I mean there's no reason not to at this point. Ari, man, I'm full build. So once you're full build, your lane opponent will continue getting stronger, and I can't get any stronger. Ari will continually continue. I'm mean, buying items until she's full items. So if she's only death cap. She's still, that's going to be a big power spike for her, so if we can end before, or if we can win a team fight before she gets full items, it's better for us. That's like one tiny thing that you can always think about. This is also really fucking scary, because I don't want to get like Ari charmed. Oh my gosh, like I almost got bound. Oh, close. This is terrifying. Like, come. We have no good vision control. We, like, need pinks. Oh, we don't have Cleddle. Or not Cloud Old, Cloud TP. And without Cloud TP, it's really scary. Yeah, did your Hex Drinker help, huh? <laughs> No, you're fucking dead. You are not getting away. Where are you? 
Wait, you're so tanky, bro. Oh, where do you go? Hey, we win. I was able to carry the game. Oh wait, I don't have TP. I, I started. I thought I thought I had TP, so I I had clicked over here and I pressed F and then let go of my keyboard. Do we win? Go for the end. Hit the hit the base. Hit the base. Only hit the base. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Learned something. That was a pretty exciting game because we were losing so hard. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video. Bye.